Hello, it's Yuto from SlatchyRecipes.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the king of all rice bowls, katsudon. So before we start, I'm going to break down the ingredients for you. This recipe serves two and this is a donburi recipe. So you're gonna need two bowls of rice. If you don't have a rice cooker and you want to know how to make Japanese style rice, you can watch our tutorial, the link's in the description below. So for the katsu, you're gonna need two pork chops, a pinch of salt and pepper, vegetable oil for deep frying, or shallow frying if you prefer, flour for coating the meat, one egg, panko breadcrumbs, about 100 grams or half cup, should be plenty. And for the rest of the dish, you will need one onion, two eggs, 100 milliliters of water, two tablespoons of sake, two tablespoons of mirin, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of tsuyu sauce. This dish takes about 30 minutes to prepare and cook, so I recommend to start cooking your rice just before you start everything else. So, we're going to start making the katsu first. It's the start of the dish after all. You can start heating your oil now too. You want it to be 170 degrees Celsius, which is about 340 degrees Fahrenheit. So take your pork chops and sprinkle a pinch of salt and pepper onto each side. So what exactly is katsudon? Katsudon is a word that combines the words ton from tonkatsu, which means deep fried pork cutlet, and don from donburi, which means rice ball. Pound the pork chops to tenderize the meat. This helps make the meat softer and also makes it a bit thinner. It will cook faster and more evenly. This should be about two centimeters thick. We're going to prepare three dishes for making that famous crispy coating. We will have one plate of flour, one for the egg, and one for the panko breadcrumbs. So first, coat the meat with flour on both sides. Next, into the egg. Feel free to add a dash of milk to the egg if you're making more katsu, it will stretch it a bit further. Then press the pork chop into the panko, make sure it's fully covered on both sides and around edges. Check the oil. If you don't have a thermometer, just drop a piece of panko into the pan. When it's sizzling, you know the oil is ready. Carefully place the coated pork chops into the oil and cook for about 4 minutes on each side, so 8 minutes in total, or until golden brown. I have a small fryer so I'm cooking one at a time, but you can cook however many your pan will fit. Don't overcrowd too much though. I often eat katsu at home and one tip I learned from my mum is you shouldn't move the katsu for the first minute or so. It's really best to leave them alone when they're cooking, otherwise the crumbs start to fall off. She also never used meat thermometers or things like that. She always told me to listen to the sounds of the cooking. When you add the katsu to the oil, it bubbles loudly at first and when the oil stops making a crackling sound, that means they're ready. The reason is because they're not so much moisture reaching with the oil. Science and cooking go hand in hand, don't they? Once the katsu is ready, place the katsu on a wire rack to let the excess oil drain off. So now, we're going to make the rest of the katsudon topping. Finally, slice one whole onion. Now 
Heat up the frying pan on medium and add the onions. We don't add oil here because we're going to add liquid straight away. So add the 100 ml of water, 2 tablespoons of sake, 2 tablespoons of mirin, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 teaspoon of sugar, and 1 teaspoon of tsuyu sauce. Cook until the onion softens and the sauce is reduced by half. While it's cooking, crack two eggs into a bowl and mix. Many people get these confused between tonkatsu and katsudon. That's because they, they're both dishes that serve a crispy pork cutlet with rice, right? The main difference is uh, the tonkatsu is a pork cutlet served on a plate with a shredded cabbage and rice on the side usually. It's drizzled with fruity tonkatsu sauce and if you order it teishoku set meal style it ho often comes with miso soup and some pickles too. On the other hand, katsudon is served with the pork cutlet served in a bowl on top of the rice. The pork cutlet is cooked together with the egg. It doesn't lose too much crispiness because the egg is not fully cooked. The katsu and egg are then placed on top of rice. The sauce is mixed in with the egg, which is that part that holds the special katsudon flavor. Lastly, it's garnished with spring onions or nori or any greens. So in the end, although they both contain katsu, the dishes are actually very different. Add the katsu to the pan and pour in the eggs, evenly distributing them over the katsu and onions. Leave it to cook for 1-2 to two minutes. Put a lid on top and turn off the heat. Allow the eggs to steam cook for about a minute. Serve up your cooked rice into two deep bowls and place the egg and katsu mixture to the top. Garnish with chopped spring onions or your preferred greens and enjoy this classic Japanese katsudon. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you like this recipe, please like and subscribe. You can see more recipes on our channel and website. The link is in the description below. Thanks again everyone. Have a great day.